The 2020 United States presidential election was the 59th quadrennial presidential election, held on Tuesday, November 3, 2020. The Democratic ticket of former Vice President Joe Biden and the junior U.S. Senator from California Kamala Harris defeated the incumbent Republican President Donald Trump and incumbent Vice President Mike Pence. The election took place against the backdrop of the global COVID-19 pandemic and related recession. It was the first election since 1992 and the first in the 21st century, in which the incumbent president failed to win a second term. The election saw the highest voter turnout by percentage since 1900, with each of the two main tickets receiving more than 74 million votes, surpassing Barack Obama's record of 69.5 million votes from 2008. Biden received more than 81 million votes, the most votes ever cast for a candidate in a U.S. presidential election. In a competitive primary that featured the most candidates for any political party in the modern era of American politics, Biden secured the Democratic presidential nomination over his closest rival, Senator Bernie Sanders. Biden's running mate, Harris, became the first African-American, first Asian-American, and third female vice presidential nominee on a major party ticket. Trump secured re-nomination against token opposition in the Republican primaries. Joe Jorgensen secured the Libertarian presidential nomination with Spike Cohen as her running mate, and Howie Hawkins secured the Green presidential nomination with Angela Nicole Walker as his running mate. The central issues of the election included the public health and economic impacts of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, civil unrest in reaction to the police murder of George Floyd and others, the Supreme Court following the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and confirmation of Amy Coney Barrett, and the future of the Affordable Care Act. Due to the ongoing pandemic, a record number of ballots were cast early and by mail. Many more registered Democrats voted by mail than registered Republicans. As a result of a large number of mail-in ballots, some swing states saw delays in vote counting and reporting. This led to major news outlets delaying their projection of Biden and Harris as the president-elect and vice president-elect until the morning of November 7, three and a half days after the election. Major media networks project a state for a candidate once there is high statistical confidence that the outstanding vote would be unlikely to prevent the projected winner from ultimately winning that state. Biden ultimately received the majority in the Electoral College with 306 electoral votes, while Trump received 232. Key to Biden's victory were his wins in the Democratic-leaning Great Lakes states of Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin which Trump carried in 2016 and whose combined 46 electoral votes were enough to swing the election to either candidate. Biden also became the first Democrat to win the presidential election in Georgia since 1992 and in Arizona since 1996. This is the first election since 1880 in which both major party candidates won the same number of states, and the first since 1948 in which a party won the popular vote for the fourth time in a row. Trump became one of three presidents, along with John Quincy Adams and Benjamin Harrison to lose the popular vote twice while still being elected president. This is the second time in American history, after Harrison in 1892, that the Republican Party was voted out after a single term, and the first for either party since 1980. Trump became the first Republican, and first incumbent president of either party since 2004 to increase their share of the popular vote, and the first losing incumbent to do so since 1828. Before, during, and after Election Day, Trump and numerous other Republicans attempted to subvert the election and overturn the results, falsely alleging widespread voter fraud and trying to influence the vote-counting process in swing states. Attorney General William Barr and officials in each of the 50 states found no evidence of widespread fraud or irregularities in the election. Federal agencies overseeing election security said it was the most secure in American history. The Trump campaign had had a high blood and Republican names and gave him a high blood and strong boy and damn his and there and in the same the result of the revolution by finding signs of her husband and the belly and this culminated in a mob of Trump supporters attacking the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021, after Trump repeatedly said that he would never concede the election. However, On January 7, one day after the violent Capitol attack and two months after Biden's victory was declared, 
Trump acknowledged the incoming administration without mentioning Biden's name in a video posted to Twitter. Biden and Harris were inaugurated on January 20, 2021.